Good morning, everybody. I'm Adbal. Thank you. To the climate. Let's start the climate. Whether climate is associated with the atmospheric conditions, atmospheric conditions prevailing in a particular place. So the weather. Which, came, which keeps changing from hour to hour, day to day, weather can be defined as the, weather, it can be defined as the atmospheric conditions prevailing in a particular place. When we are talking about the atmospheric conditions of a JP Nagar, Adarsh Nagar, <clears throat> then we are concerning towards as the weather. Weather, weather is associated with the atmospheric conditions of a particular place in relation to the shorter tenure of time, shorter period of time. As they are opposite to the weather, climate is associated with the long-term atmospheric conditions prevails in a extensive area, larger area. When we're talking about the atmospheric conditions of a Punjab state or either the India, Asia, Southeastern Asian countries or world. Here we will not concern about the weather. We will talk about the climate. India's climate as the tropical as well as the subtropical, which has associated with the extensive area for a longer duration of time. Weather changes hour to hour, whereas a climate changes climate changes 30 to the 40 years. After the interval of 30 to 40 years, climate of an area, climate of a country changes. Climate of a country changes. The average weather as well as the variations and extreme characteristics of a weather of an area, these are studied in relation to the elements of both weather and climate. The elements of climate are, elements of climate are temperature, humidity, precipitation, cloudiness, sunshine, sunshine, foggy weather, or the forms of precipitation. The forms of precipitation includes dew, frost, hail, fog, Snow, water droplets are the different forms of precipitation. Forms of precipitation which are studied under the elements of a climate. As their opposite, the elements of weather are only the two, temperature and rainfall. Temperature and rainfall. Early in the morning, around seven o'clock, it was a fog appeared in our surroundings. Fog was there. Now here the time is the 10.48. At that time, there is as the sunshine. Due to as a sunshine, hike in temperature. Temperature increases in a surface area, due to which as a warmness feels. Such changes from hour to hour, morning as a cold, now as a feels like as a warmer, hotter, till the 2, two to the 3 p.m the uh, temperature, it will be as a more increase. It will be as an increase. So such kind of a changes, which are associated with a one particular place for a shorter duration of time is a weather. Weather changes, clear? Tell there any questions? Any questions? When we're talking about the climate of, uh, of India, the climate of India is described as the monsoonal. The term monsoon derived from the Arabic word mosim, which means it derived from the mosim, which means as the seasonal reversal in the winds. Seasonal reversal in winds. So before of the monsoons, before of the monsoons in all over the country, the average temperature conditions are prevailing as the warmer and the drier. With advancement of our monsoons, humid weather conditions prevails in a 
throughout the country from coastal parts towards the north of India. Coastal parts towards north of India as a moist weather conditions prevails throughout the country. It's due to Asram monsoons. That's why monsoon word, which derived from the Arabic word, Mosim, Arabic word, Mosim, which means as a reversal of winds, reversal of winds. When monsoons are arrived in India in a month of a June, July, August, September, October as a rotating monsoon season. Afterwards, the temperature starts to fall. Temperature starts to fall and Northern India, Central India, it experiences as a cold waves, winters. After end of a winter, so when the summer striking, summer ends with the advancement of monsoons. Clear? So this type of a climate is found mainly in the South and uh, Southeastern Asian countries as monsoonal. Despite and the overall unity and commonality in the general pattern, there are the perceptible regional variations in a climatic conditions within the country. For example, when, when the extreme weather conditions are prevailing in a Northern India as extreme hotness during the summers, and extreme coolness during as of winters. Same time, the coastal parts and the southern India experience as a moderate weather conditions. Within a country, within a India, within a India, the different types of the weather conditions or a climatic conditions are prevails. It's due to as the factors, factors which are affecting as a climate of whole of the world. In whole of the world, there is not as a uniform type of a climatic conditions are prevailed. Different countries possess as a different types of a climatic conditions. When we're talking about India's conditions, in India, due to as a existence of a topic of cancer, which divides India into the two equal halves, the southern part is known as a subtropical region, southern part is known as a tropical region, and northern part of a tropic of cancer is a subtropical region. So due to as the existence of a tropic of cancer, two varied forms of a climatic conditions prevails within as our country. Tropical areas which experience as a moderate weather conditions due to nearness of a coast. But as compared to this, the north of a tropic of cancer, which experience as a extreme weather conditions extreme climatic conditions. During the summers, temperature approaches still as the 46 degrees plus in a parts of a Thar desert, Punjab, Haryana, due to the prevailing, due to the movement of a hot and drier winds loo, as their opposite in a month of a January, end of a December, beginning of a January, temperature falls. Temperature falls in a parts of Punjab, Haryana, JNK as the till one degree Celsius. Such variations are due to the latitudinal differences. Clear? So first factor affecting as a latitude of uh, uh, factors affecting the climate of a country, climates of a world are first latitudes. Middle latitudes, the lower latitudes, equatorial areas experience as the hot and dry weather conditions, hot and moist weather conditions due to the high temperature, high evaporation rate, high precipitation, more moist weather conditions prevailing in equatorial regions. When we move away from the equator towards the poleward regions, there are the drastic change occur in a climatic conditions. Clear? Second as the altitude. When we start to move the upward direction, there is a falls in a temperature. Temperature starts to decrease when we move upward direction. That process of decrease in temperature, fall in temperature is a normal lapse rate. Normal lapse rate. That decrease in a temperature which falls at the rate of a, after every 165 meters, one degree Celsius temperature decrease, decreases. Or we can say as a 1000 meters, after every 1,000 meters, 6.25 degrees Celsius temperature falls. 
That's why during as the summers, during summers when permeating, it experiences as a hot and dry weather conditions in a Punjab. In a same time as a Arish Arora visit in a Kulu Manali for a pleasant weather conditions. Pleasant weather conditions. It's due to the normal lapse rate. This fall in a temperature, it continues till the extent of troposphere. Troposphere, its average height as a 13 kilometer, 13 to 14 kilometer from the mean sea level. Clear? Second as the altitude. Third, first latitude. Second as the altitude impact over the climate of a world. Third, curvature of the earth. Earth is a circular in shape due to the Earth's surface. Most sun rays they are fall as a vertical over equator. Sun rays fall vertical over equator. Over equator. So those sun rays which falls in a poleward areas, these are lights as a slanting. Slanting rays leads as a lesser percentage of a temperature on a surface. That's why the polar regions they experience as a low temperature comparatively the equatorial areas as compared to the equatorial areas. Twice in a year, which happens twice in a year, Sundays they fall vertical over equator. Such situation is known as the equinox. When Sundays fall vertical over the equator on a 20th 2nd of March and 23rd of September. This date is known as the equinox when Sundays are fall vertical over a topic of cancer. Tropic of cancer. Sundays fall vertical over a tropic of cancer. This is as a summer solstice. Tropic of Capricorn as a winter solstice. In that state, both the hemispheres, northern and southern hemisphere, they experience as a severe hot weather conditions. In a state of a summer solstice on 21st of June, Northern Hemisphere experiences as a summer or in as their opposite, the 22nd or 3rd of December, winter solstice, Southern Hemisphere experiences as a summer. It's due to as a Sundays which fall vertical over a tropical areas. Clear? Tropical areas. It is also influenced as the climate of the world. When the summers are experiencing in a northern hemisphere in a uh, 21st of June, months of uh, May, June, July, in the same time, southern hemisphere experience as of winters. Experience as winters, it's due to as the curvature of the earth. Earth's curvature, earth's surface makes the such kind of the differences in a climate. Clear? Next one, distance from, distance in between of the Earth and sun also influence as the, it also influence as the climate of the earth. It also influence the climate of the earth. The earth, it, it revolves, it revolves around the sun in a elliptical orbital plane. Elliptical orbital plane elliptical orbital plane. The state when the distance between earth and sun, this is as a minimum around 147.1 million kilometers. Rajesh, just only as a 147.1 million kilometers only. In that state, the distance due to as a lesser distance in between of the earth and the sun, more heat receiving on a earth surface. More heat receiving on earth surface. Sun rays, they can easily travel to the atmosphere and reaching towards the earth's surface. Reaching towards the earth's surface. If the sun rays, they will cross a longer distance, then the more absorption of a sun rays will occur in our atmosphere. More sun rays, it will be as absorbed by the atmosphere. Clear? Perihelion is the state when the shortest distance lies in between of Earth and Sun, just the 147.1 million kilometers. 
and as their opposite, the second state as the aphelion, A P H E L I O N. Aphelion is a state when the maximum distance lies in between of Earth and Sun. In between of Earth and Sun, the distance as near about the one fifty two million kilometers. One fifty two million kilometers as a distance in between of the earth and sun if sun rays are travel as a longer duration longer distance in atmosphere then the those components which are present in atmosphere they will absorb either absorb or re-radiate the sun rays from the atmosphere atmosphere clear so distance in between of earth and sun also influence as a climate of the Earth climate of a region in a state of a perihelion when the shortest distance crossed by the sun rays to which as a maximum heat receiving on a earth due to which as the hike in temperature increase in temperature longer distance covered by the sun rays to approach towards the earth's crust under such circumstances a more absorption of a sun rays in our atmosphere as per the average uh, if the hundred percentage of the heat releases from the sun's surface, its one percent is approaching towards the Earth's crust. Remaining ninety-nine percent either absorbed by the atmosphere or re-radiate from the different gases and the layers of the atmosphere. Different layers of atmosphere. Different number of the components are present in atmosphere are water vapors. Gases are there. Dust particles are there water vapors gases and dust particles which absorbed the sunlight uh, sunlight and just only allow as a one percent uv rays absorbed by the ozone gas so different number of gases are there which absorbs as their presence so if the longer duration sun is travel from the longer distances so maximum absorption will occur by the sun rays if the shortest distance in between of the earth and sun the more heat then the more heat it will be received on a earth's surface clear this is also influenced as a climate of a area next differential features of land and water also influence the climate of an area differential features of land and water as you familiar water having the transparency water having as a transparency and rivers seas they are not as a static in nature they are the movable water bodies due to the influence of a prevailing winds the upper layers of a sea or rivers these are moved from a one place towards other due to as a transparency light penetrates in a deeper sections of the water body so till that extent wherever the light approaches such layers they are heated as a slowly because the water is not a stagnant it is a movable it is a dynamic in nature rivers as regularly moving as according to the slope of a region so that's why water bodies takes a longer duration for the heating and the cooling process in daytime when the sun appears sun appears surface the water bodies they absorb the heat in night time when the source of a light sun is not there they start to re-radiate the heat but that such amount of a heat which is received by the earth surface it starts to release from the earth crust from the side uh, from water bodies when winds are prevailing from a re-radiation process which gain as a moisture or temperature which influence the surrounding areas that's why areas located nearer to the water bodies they experience as a moderate weather moderate weather conditions it's due to the winds moving from sea towards a land sea breezes when they are blowing from a sea to land they gain moisture and decrease the surface temperature of their adjoining areas mumbai kochi of keral kochi of keral parts of goa coastal parts of karnataka maharashtra and the southeastern parts of a gujarat they experience as a moderate weather conditions why because they are located as nearer to the coastal regions nearer to coastal regions throughout the year they do not experience as extreme weather conditions 
moderate weather conditions are prevailing in these places. It's due to the influence of a nearness of water body. As compared to this, those areas which are the landlocked regions like Delhi, like Jaipur, like Amritsar, Amritsar, Jalandhar, these regions are experienced as extreme weather conditions. It's due to the sea, sorry, land breezes. It's due to land breezes. When land breezes blow from land to sea, these winds are the dry winds. They are not having as a moisture. If the water moisture is not available in the winds, they will start to increase the surface temperature of their adjoining areas. Surface temperature of its adjoining areas. That's why during as a summers, the northern states they are experiencing as a both the times northern and the summers and the winters northern states uh, they are experienced as the extreme weather condition extremely hotter during as a summers extremely cooler during as a extremely cool during as a winters if the water body locate as nearer to the such places which will be as influence over the climate of uh, these places but these places are the landlocked Amritsar, Delhi, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Bikaner, Haryana, Ambala, they are experiencing as a extreme weather conditions. During the summers too hotter, during the winters as too cooler. In a northern plains, northern plains, the cool, uh, coolest place recorded in a Amritsar and a second in a Jalandhar as Adampur. Coolest places which are experiencing as a till zero degree Celsius temperature during the winters. Such temperature has prevailed still mid of January. Last week of a December towards the mid of January till the uh, celebrations of a Lodi, temperature is uh, regularly falls in a northern plains, especially in Amritsar and Adampur. Clear? So they are also influencing the climate of world. Till there, any questions? Any questions, ninth D? Any questions? Equinox is a state when sun rays may fall vertical over equator. As a salme dovar hota, because sun rays they are moving from a tropic of cancer towards equator. Tropic of Cancer, sorry, Tropic of Cancer towards Equator, then Tropic of Capricorn. Again, they are moving towards the Equator, then the Tropic of Cancer. So, 21st of June, Sundays are fall vertical here. In September, Sundays, it will be on a Equator. On a 21st of December, Sundays may fall over the Tropic of Capricorn. Again, in a next year, as a March, Sundays, it will be on there. So, coming March, Sundays on an equator, 22nd or 3rd of a March on equator, 21st June on a Cancer, September as again equator and December on Tropic of Capricorn. The state when Sundays fall vertical over a equator is known as equinox. That situation is known as equinox. It is as imaginary. For our convenience, we are using the such words. Solstice is a state state when Sundays are fall vertical over the tropical regions. Summer solstice on Tropic of Cancer, winter solstice on Tropic of Capricorn. Winter solstice on Tropic of Capricorn. That's why the Australia, when Sundays fall vertical over a Tropic of Capricorn, which passed to the Australia, Australia celebrates its Christmas. Sundays are 40, fall vertical over a Capricorn on 22nd and 3rd of a December. And Christmas celebrates in Australia during the summers. This is as a reason responsible for the celebrations of a Christmas in Australia during the summers. Any questions? Till there, any questions? <coughs> yes, any questions? Yes, ninth D. No queries. Let's see proceed towards as a factors which are affecting the climate of India. India's climate is a monsoonal climate. Monsoons, which makes as the 
differences in between of a summers to the winters summers which are prevailing in a prevailing in a country from may to june april may afterwards june as advancing monsoon season june july august advancing monsoon season september october november as a rotating monsoon season afterwards as a winters begins end of the winters in a mid of the february mid of february with celebrations of a spring basan afterwards as a summer starts summer starts in a march april may again as a monsoons so monsoonal type of a climate which which makes as a difference or a reversal of a winds in country reversal of winds in country india's climate is a tropical as well as subtropical when we use the term tropical in context of india as a independent this is incorrect because the tropic of cancer divides india into the two equal parts tropical and subtropical tropical states states which are lies as the south of the tropic of cancer which includes as the maharashtra telangana andhra pradesh karnataka goa kerala tamil nadu these states are lies as the south of a tropic of cancer which experiences as a tropical weather conditions as they are opposite the north of a tropic of cancer which includes punjab haryana jammu and kashmir uttarakhand himachal pradesh arunachal pradesh assam etc sikkim bihar these states are experiencing as a subtropical weather conditions so in context of india we have to write you have to write as a both tropical as well as subtropical climatic conditions are prevailing in our country so the factors which are affecting as a climate of india climate of india first as a latitude latitude india's latitudinal extent as 8 degree 4 minute towards 37 degree 6 minutes such longer latitudinal extent divided by the tropic of cancer which divides india into the two equal halves with the 23 and a half degree northern latitude northern latitude while the southern part which has lies as the tropical zone the northern part falls in a subtropical zone the temperature remains quite high during as a summers season all over the country except in the areas of a high altitudes but the during the winters temperature falls considerably in the northern plains and northern plains and records the below freezing point below freezing point in many parts of the himalayan belt clear second as the himalayas play as a key role to influence the india's climate which is now as the monsoonal in nature himalayas they are responsible for they are responsible for the tropical climate of india tropical climate of india himalayas restricted the movement of himalayas restricted the movement or entry of a cold siberian winds which comes from the which comes from the 60 degree northern latitude towards the india these winds are obstructed by the himalayas himalayas restricted the entry of a siberian winds cold siberian winds in a plains of india due to the existence of himalayas existence of himalayas there are the different seasons can experience over a country cold waves they can't hit the plains and the peninsular plateau of india due to the existence of the himalayas it also restricted the movement of a movement of monsoonal winds towards the south eastern parts of a china due to the existence of a himalayas a wall like structure which has extended as a 2400 kilometers long from west to east west to east situated in a north of the country north of india it restricted the movement of a monsoon winds in south eastern chinese part china's part due to as a existence of the himalayas monsoons cause as the heavy rainfall in the northern plains of india in northern plains of india 
such rain is a highly beneficial for our economy because the rain caused in a monsoonal season it is supportive for the agricultural practices clear agricultural practices third as the conditions in the regions surrounding india the climatic conditions atmospheric conditions which are prevailing in a surrounding parts of india especially in africa iran central asia and the tibet which determine the strength of monsoons due to the temperature and the pressure conditions prevailing in africa and central asia africa central asia and tibet it influence as the strength of the monsoons and the occasional dry spells of monsoons in country dry spells in our country next as the varied forms of the reliefs are also influence the climate of india relief which plays an important role in the climatic conditions of the country due to the existence of a relief features they makes the differences in a climatic regions for example the existence of the western ghats in a maharashtra it divides maharashtra into the two different climatic zones the windward sides of the western ghats windward sides of western ghats experience as the windward sides of western ghats these are the southwest monsoon winds windward sides of a western ghats receiving as a plenty of a rainfall due to the excessive rainfall these regions are lies under the tropical evergreen forest as their opposite the eastern margins of the western ghats the interiors of the maharashtra it experience as the dry conditions its example we discuss as a total distance in between of a bombay to pune bombay mumbai located on a western sides of a western ghats and a pune located on a eastern sides of western ghats distance between the both the places as near about 100 km but due to as a existence of a sayadris western ghats which makes as a differences in a climatic conditions excessive rain recorded in a mumbai comparatively the pune which receives as a scanty rainfall pune receives as the scanty rainfall the areas which are located as interiors of maharashtra nagpur pune vardha they are experiencing as a scanty rainfall water scarcity has a lies in these regions comparatively the mumbai which is affected by the floods every year every year mumbai experience has a floods due to excessive rain so both the areas both the places are situated in a same state but due to existence of the western ghats it makes as a differences in between of it in between of it another example due to the existence of the himalayas existence of himalayas in a north of a country it makes the differences in a two different types of a climatic conditions south of india south of the himalayas south of himalayas mean the that part of a himalaya which is Par, which is uh, included under the india it has experiencing as a higher temperature higher temperature as compared to the part of the himalayas in a china part of himalayas in china which experiences the severe cold winds it's due to as a those cold siberian winds which hit the northern slopes of himalayas is that clear next are the jet streams jet stream also influence as climate of india it is a band of a moving air currents in the upper layers of the atmosphere these fast moving winds uh these fast moving winds they are influence as arrival and departure of monsoons arrival and departure of monsoons the western disturbances which experienced in the northern and the north western parts of a country which brought a rain during a, during a month of a january you experienced this just in a last month regularly consistently 
consistently 10 to 12 days rain recorded in a plains of a Punjab. Such rain, it was a result of the Western disturbances. Such Western disturbances, which originate from the Mediterranean Sea, lies in between of Africa and Europe, and cause as rain, those winds originate from the Mediterranean Sea, move towards the east due to existence of the Himalayas, such winds bifurcated into the two parts. One branch enters in a China, which causes as a rain. Another branch enters in a another branch enters in a Punjab, Haryana, and it leads to the rain. The, lay, the rain recorded in a plains of India in a month of a January is a supportive for the rabi crop for wheat plant. Why? Because before of the rain, there is a frost appeared on a surface due to which the growth of a wheat plant restricted. But due to as a rain, which is supportive for the growth of a wheat plant. Clear? So this one for today, that's why we will continue in our next class. Any questions?